dismissed the local school board more than a month ago, but now the two sides have reached an agreement. Tom Sang joins us with more. Thomas, just what was the problem here? Well, the story starts in January, and Nancy, that is uh, when the uh, education director of Ganawage was fired. Parents say they weren't consulted uh, on that firing, and that uh, the real reason for that uh, firing was never made public. So that led to a loss of trust, you could say, in Ganawage's Combined Schools Commission. That is the group that oversees three schools in the community. It's uh, formed uh, of, uh, made up of uh, community members, mostly parents. It's supposed to be an arm's length away, separate from uh, the uh, Mohawk Council of Ganawage, but tension grew between the Mohawk Council, parents, and uh, the school board for several months, up until more than a month ago, when the Mohawk Council of Ganawage decided to uh, suspend the powers of the entire school board. That was never before seen in uh, Ganawage, and uh, some parents that thought that was a bit harsh. And the voice of the parents were was lost. They, they had no more voice anymore. It was taken away from them, by the Mohawk Council of Ganawage. That's how a lot of people see it in the community with about trust or lack thereof. Uh, over the course of several months, there were issues that came up that uh, caused more and more distrust. I don't want to get too specific, but uh, they had to be dealt with. Now, the dissatisfaction in the community led to several meetings all week long up until this afternoon, uh, Nancy. That is when the Mohawk Council of Ganawage decided to reinstate Ganawage's combined schools uh, committee on the one condition that the uh, Mohawk Council will oversee the committee's work for uh, the coming weeks at least. Okay, thanks Thomas. Coming up 